Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, today I wanted to give a short message, hopefully, about how rock and roll isn't noise pollution. Uh, ACDC has a song out uh, called Self-Titled That, and it says uh, that it makes good, good sense. And um, I believe it does. I want to try to show you through scripture a little bit how God has used music. Um, in the beginning, uh, Satan, his tablets, were perfectly formed in him. So he was a musical being, and uh, King David, in the same way, was a sweet psalmist of Israel. Uh, and he played the harp for King Saul to uh, remove the spirits that were in Saul that God actually sent. Uh, so God kind of created music, I believe, to uh, soothe the savage soul a little bit, and uh, also to uh, speak parables to us, to teach us things. And um, I do think it makes good sense. Uh, regarding the singers and the players on instruments, uh, Scripture actually says that they came in before the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, they were made a real part of worship uh, back in the day. In fact, uh, the middle book of the Bible, which I think most represents God's heart for his people, uh, called Psalms, um, you know, psalms is short for uh, the psalmist, a sweet psalmist, and uh, a psaltery is a stringed instrument um, that was used to play music. In, in scripture it says uh, to make a loud noise, uh, to play skillfully on the stringed instrument, on the ten-stringed instrument, uh, play on the organ, and uh, uh, just to speak to each other in psalms and spiritual songs, and uh, you know, I think the more we listen to the music, we can uh, get a good understanding of who we are, what love is, and uh, a little bit about how much God loves us. Uh, sorry, my dog's barking in the background there. She wants to come out. But, uh... Psalm 49.4 uh, says, I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open up my dark sayings on the harp. And in Proverbs, we're instructed to seek understanding, seek wisdom, even more than gold and silver and, uh, you know, fine rubies. And uh, to understand the dark sayings that God gives us. And um, I think music just does that. So... Um, you know, it's worth looking into uh, some things that I can tell you that I've learned from the music that has been backed up through Scripture. I've learned a lot through, um, you know, Elton John, Philadelphia Freedom. You know, God gives us liberty as children of a God. And Philadelphia was the only uh, church that kept his commandments and endured to the end. Uh, God's interested in uh, writing his word on each of our hearts so that we love each other and, uh, you know, treat each other the way that we should. You know, love your enemy. Go the extra mile. If you're slapped on one side, let them slap the other side. And uh, there's just so much wisdom in that book. In fact, uh, in the day that we're living in today, um, it's um, needed to understand that this was all foretold. It was written about a long time ago. And we're just seeing the unfolding of, um, you know, biblical events. I personally have been watching for the Lord since 2015. And um, I know a lot people have been out there seeing the signs even longer than that but uh, some of the quick signs is that Israel's been a nation now for 70 years uh, you know we're we're well into that 70 years in fact uh, we're th three years beyond that uh, which could be uh, justified by the parable of the the fig tree that uh, wasn't producing fruit he came down looking for fruit for three years and he found fruit for a little while and uh, but and then he's going to have to dig around it and dung it. And uh, that's going to be the great tribulation that's going to be coming up. It's going to affect each one of us. And uh, just hope that you remember to listen to the music like the Doobie Brothers sing. And, um, you know, Ozzy has a song out that says rock and roll his, is his religion. And, um, you know, I think that uh, a lot of the truth that is being said through that music just makes good, good sense. I mean... First time I uh, really looked at the lyrics for Crazy Train, you know, millions of people living as foes. When will they learn to love and forget how to hate? And uh, he says, you have to listen to my word. I contend that that's God's word. We all have to put that in our hearts and uh, then we'll all be singing like songbirds and rocking and rolling. I uh, hope you have a
blessed day, and uh, please leave any questions or comments, uh, but please remember to be nice. May the Lord bless you and your families. In Jesus' name, amen.